Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Thursday, June 30th. A Tesla Model S Plaid that has been hacked to remove software limitations has reached a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. When Tesla first announced the Model S Plaid, the new performance flagship electric vehicle, they promised a top speed of 200. However, when it was first delivered last year, the vehicle gave a top speed of a paltry 163 miles per hour. Using track mode, someone got it to reach 173. What is now clear is that Tesla actually installed a limitation. Nginx, a Quebec-based company better known for selling modules that help unlock software in Tesla vehicles, has managed to get around the limitation in the Model S Plaid to completely unlock the top speed. The team took a Model S to a temporarily shut down airport runway to get enough space. They managed to reach 216 miles per hour. Electric actually had boots on the ground to see the incredible feat. Hi, this is Fred from Electric, and today I'm at the airport in Trois-Rivières, Quebec, in Canada, and we're gonna check out a Tesla Model S Plaid trying to break 200 miles per hour for the very first time. That sound was absolutely crazy. It sounded like a jet engine. It's insane. One of the rare Tesla semi-electric trucks came out of hiding this week to deliver pre-assembled superchargers to the Laguna Seca racetrack in California. Tesla has been ramping up installations of supercharger stations, accelerated by the use of pre-assembled units. In one case, Tesla managed to deploy a new supercharger in just eight days. Now, aside from that, it's actually quite nice to have this one installed at the racetrack. The site is popular for vehicles getting records of all kinds, and Tesla owners have often used the racetrack as a benchmark for top performance. And now, what might be the first time the charger stations were delivered by an electric semi, the Tesla semi. The truck hasn't made too many appearances after it's been delayed for about three years by this point. General Motors chair and CEO Mary Barra recently teased footage of the first engineering version of the Chevy Silverado EV, doing a little bit of off-road testing. The 2024 model year pickup will be the first all-electric option to arrive under the Chevrolet marquee, and GM hopes to serve as a rebuttal to the American truck competitors, the Rivian R1T and Ford F-150 Lightning. Both of those have already hit the market to much fanfare and praise. The CEO also stated that following the proving groundwork, the EV will be testing on the Detroit streets as early as next month. But considering that next month is tomorrow, it's really hard to say what that really means. Draco Motors announced a new hypercar in an SUV format that they say will go from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Back in 2020, Electrek had the opportunity to get a test ride in the Draco GTE sports car to experience the company's quad powertrain. It was quite the hoot. The vehicle felt like a railgun on the racetrack even when cornering. Draco always planned it for a two dozen Draco GTEs over $1 million each, but it was basically a program that was a super extensive test bed for their impressive powertrain. And now here we are with the announcement of the new SUV. According to the press release, this new vehicle will deliver on luxury, and according to the teaser image, it has vertical opening doors, reminiscent of another popular electric SUV. In the press release, the company talks about this vehicle called the Dragon being competitively priced, but they say that that's against super SUV segment. In that segment are the Lamborghini Urus, which starts at $220,000, so perhaps it will be in that range. Marine fast charging network Aqua Superpower has expanded overseas into the United States, beginning operations of its first marine fast charger in Lake Tahoe, California. The new Aqua high power DC charger at the Tahoe City Marina is the first of a planned network to smart marine chargers that will be rolled out on the lake shores to support electric boat owners. At the ground level, or rather water level, the lake itself has seen a dramatic reduction in levels of burned and unburned gasoline products in the water since it banned two-stroke carburetor engines back in 1999. Looking ahead, the lake-centric city looks to promote further sustainability for the Tahoe environment and its residents to be encouraging all-electric boats. The new chargers will be a game-changer for the locals and also regulars visiting the area. In today's community comment, MK Sync 23 says, I love lamp. 
Well, MK Sync 23, sounds like a personal problem. You may want to see a doctor or maybe a priest. Good luck with that. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.